the Betfred November handicap is next. It's the last big UK, or well, last big English race of the season. Big handicap, mile and a half at Doncaster, 0 to 110. At the top, we've got Global Empire for Craig Beck with Cookie Champ for Satyam Sandra Sagram, Natalie Portman, Dan Hughes, Regal Curtsy, Paul Rhodes, and Moon and Lover, David Robertson, Sir Gilderoy, Padraig Hogan, Coastal Bluff, Kevin Meadhan, Shield Maiden, Stu Gray, Carbon Fibre, Paul Rhodes, Seabird, Martin Lidham, Non Fiction, Kevin Meadhan, Classic Mode, Alex Cherry, Omperi, Martin Lidham, Gunslinger Contact, Thomas Rogers, Kofi Kingston, Matt Cooper, Kin Craig Alliance for Alex Cherry and Zafran Aga the more Thomas Rogers, 17 of them then. The top ones in this are just about sort of group three class really, so it should be an interesting race and away they go. Racing and Sir Gilroy and Seabird were out quickly, but they're virtually still in a line. Nothing all that keen to take the race by the scruff of the neck. It would seem carbon fibre and Regal Curtsy though maybe now coming through with Shield Maiden. It's gonna be Regal Curtsy who's got the rail but doesn't seem all that keen to plough on in front of that job is now been taken on by Shield Maiden. So Shield Maiden then for Stu Gray. He won two in the last race, leads by four lengths to Global Empire in second. Regal Curtsy on the inside is third, then Seabird and Ompere together with Zafra and Arga, the more after that one, a non-fiction in Coastal Bluff. Already through the first three furlongs or so. And Shield Maiden is in the lead by five lengths. To Seabird is just showing second from Gold Global Empire and Regal Kurtz in non fiction. And Gunslinger Contract and Ompre is after that one. Coastal Bluff is in that little leading group as well. They're very really tightly packed. The group that are chasing the leader. There's a few of them out the back, just a little bit detached. Kofi Kingston, the current back marker. But Shield Maiden continues to lead by a good five lengths. I mean, chased by Sir Gilderoy in the yellow jacket in second his Global Empire on its inside then the two in the purple and white stripes are together on Prix and Seabird then the green jacket in Saffron Arc at the moor with the green and orange of non-fiction on its inside and the green and orange of Coastal Bluff on its outside with Gunslinger Contract also in that group as well but the leader Shield Maiden is about a length and a half up then now on Sir Gilderoy as they come down towards the final four furlongs in the November handicap and it's Shield Maiden in the lead from Sir Gilderoy in second then comes non-fiction in third and Regal Curtsy in four, then Ompre and Zafran Arga, the Moors after that one, Seabird just beginning to backtrack a little bit, then Carbon Fibre trying to get into it, Kring Kang Alliance is also trying to run on now, but it's Shield Maiden who's kicked on again, with two and a half to go, from Sir Gilderoy in second Zafran Arga, the Moor and Regal Curtsy, Gunslinger Contract is there, Seabird is trying to run him, Ompre looks a little bit one paced, Carbon Fibre is now trying to get going, but it's still Shield Maiden in the lead from Regal Curtsy in second Zafran Arga, the Moor and Gunslinger Contract, it's all green up the front at the moment and it's Shield Maiden who's still in front inside the final foot and I'm trying to give Stu Gregg a quick double Sir Gilderoy there going to try and steal it for Satyam here comes Ompre now with a late run and so too non-fiction it's Ompre and non-fiction non-fiction goes on and non-fiction takes it from Cookie Champ who also finished well and the complexion of that race changed dramatically in the final half furlong it looked like it was either going to be Stu or Satyam with a double but instead it was Kevin Meenan who gets the win. Non-fiction takes it. One of the bottom weights on Shield Maiden second for Stu Gray. Cookie Champ for Satyam Sandra Sagram was third. Paris for Martin Lidl was fourth. And Emuna Lover for David Robertson was fifth.